Override? What the hell does that mean? Jesse, Grayson, the gate control isn't responding. Something must be wrong with it. Very well, Will. Thank you for trying. The two of you should go through the hole without us. We'll wait here. If you manage to find a way out, get help. Please, hurry. We dropped the basketball into the hole. After two or three seconds, we heard a distant bounce. Looks like a pretty long drop, but manageable. I'll go first. I'll wait here and find something to pull you back up with in case it's a dead end. <sighs> All right. Good luck, man. With one last deep breath, I jumped. Ah! I got another note from the gym teacher. She says you aren't playing with the other kids. I don't like gym. Why not? The other kids all make fun of me. Why would they do that? Because I'm not as good as they are. Everyone has their own skills, Jason. Things they are good at and other things that they aren't. I'm sorry if you don't enjoy gym, but part of growing up is learning that sometimes you have to do things you don't like. But I don't feel well after gym. I'm sorry if your feelings get hurt, Jason, but... Not my feelings, my chest. What's wrong with your chest? After gym, it hurts. Shit, my head. Where the hell am I now? Hey, I'm missing something. Did someone search me while I was unconscious? If so, why not take the gun? It's too dark. Oh my. Imagine getting trapped down here in the dark and starving to death. That must have been a living hell. Rest in peace, buddy. Basketball had served its use. I didn't need it anymore. Shit, dead end.
It's like a fucking maze down here. Oh shit. I lost him. Just to be safe. <sighs> oh, thank God. I thought I'd never get out of those mines. Where am I now? Back in the prison? was filled with antique texts and bottles of liquor, but the texts were of no benefit, and the bottles were, sadly, empty. Hmm. An old radio. The station dial had been glued in place. A steel lockbox. There would be no way to force that open. The cage was locked, no surprise. I needed to find the key for its square-shaped lock. A decorative cage hung from the ceiling, clearly not part of the prison's original design. Inside the cage were two bullets. The setup seemed staged, making me feel like a rat in one giant maze.
I took the key from inside the lockbox. I took the bullets, knowing the instant I held them that they were a perfect fit for the gun already in my possession. Now that I was armed, I felt it safe to return to the mines. I only hoped Gerard had found some way for me to climb back up to the bathroom. Fire burnt out, and the killer is gone. Gerard dead. I... What's going on in here? Oh no! Will, back away from Jen. She killed Gerard. She's been lying to us all along. That's not true! He was already dead when I got here! She lied to us before about her location, and she's lying to us now. Do you really think I'd have the strength to kill Gerard? I told you the truth about my identity earlier, William. I told you the truth all along. He has a gun! I saw him holding it! Gerard gave it to me when I found him in the bathroom before Sunny's death. It isn't loaded. I haven't been anywhere near the bodies when any of these people died. She's done nothing to help us find a way out of here. Use your common sense, Will. You've been leading us this whole time, telling us what to do, manipulating us. And you've been standing in the background, observing our interactions instead of reacting to them yourself. You're assessing us, determining how we'll act. And you're a murderer. Will, you can't trust her. Don't listen to him, Will. There's no way that Jesse could have done any of this, Grayson. And that leaves you. Thank God, for a second there, I thought you were going to side with Grayson. You're making a mistake, Will. I don't think so. Jesse, let's tie him up with the rope you used to lift me back up. I'll take his walkie-talkie. Together, Jesse and I tied Grayson to the bathroom stall with the rope I had just climbed. Grayson didn't resist. He just stared at me silently with pleading eyes. Right. Can you follow me, Will? I want to ask you about something. Jesse led me to the cafeteria. Okay, Jesse, what is it? What made you trust me, Will? I know you too well to think you did this, Jesse. You'd never hurt anyone, at least not intentionally. Thank you, Will. It means a lot. So, Grayson is the killer. <sighs> I know he's the only possibility, but I still can't believe it's Grayson. I can. 
He was always trying to lead us to tell us what to do. What I can't figure out is how he found out about my past. I've never met him before today. I'm sure of it. Neither have I. I never told anyone I was at that party. Except... on a website. A website? What are you talking about? It's called confessyourcrimes.com. It was supposed to be an anonymous way to relieve your conscience. Ugh, that must have been how he found us. Shit, I know that site. I came upon it a few weeks ago. You think that the site wasn't completely anonymous? It must not have been. I can't believe I was stupid enough to fall for it. I used the site too. I know I never confessed to what I actually did, but that's not important anymore. What is important is that nothing either of us has ever done warrants this, so don't beat yourself up for it. You're right, of course. Now that Grayson is tied up, I think we should each try to find a way out of this place. Be careful, Will. See you soon. Jesse? Jesse! Your son is absolutely fine, Mr. Thane. Then why is he having so much trouble breathing? It's called athletically induced asthma. Basically, when your son partakes in physical activity, he gets symptoms similar to that of an asthmatic. Will this prevent him from playing with his friends? N not at all. I've given him an inhaler to use when the symptoms begin to appear, a few puffs, and he should be good as new. Now, he will have to take it easy from time to time, but I see no reason why he can't run around like everyone else. Thank you, Doctor. What did Grayson do to me? I don't know. I was knocked out and woke up here, same as you. It had to have been Grayson. I must not have tied the rope strong enough. How stupid of me. Forget about it. What we need to focus on is how to get out of this freezer. We're locked in? Welcome to hell. It's frozen over in case you hadn't noticed. I 
casually patted my pants pockets and found that I was still carrying the loaded firearm. Why would Grayson not take it? Let's get out of here. Okay? Did he hurt you? No, I'm okay. Cold, but okay. Did you find anything when you were looking around the prison? Before Grayson knocked you out? Actually, yes. I found the perfect hiding spot. If we ever manage to get out of here, we should just go there and wait for morning to come. Grayson would never be able to find us there. Do you happen to have anything that might be able to help us get out of here? I have a book of matches that I found lying around in reception, if you think that'll help. How are you holding up with everything that's happening? Aside from feeling cold, I mean... Well, considering four of the people I've met today were killed by some psycho and I might be next, not bad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Look, I appreciate what you're trying to do, Will. It's just, if I start to think about what's happening tonight, I don't know if I'll be able to get through this. You know what I mean? After all this is over, I'll buy you a cup of coffee and we can talk about it. Right now, let's just get out of this freezer. I'll try to get us out of here. Please hurry. I don't want to end up like Mr. Kitty. Or her. Here, take this. Be careful, it's loaded. Where did you get the ammo? In a guard tower. Why are you giving it to me? For protection. If Grayson tries to hurt you, use it. Okay, I will. Another victim of Grayson Wolford. I can't look at her. Sorry, Cat, but I need this more than you do right now. It probably died in the cold, but recently, because the body hadn't decayed, that meant power had been restored to the prison prior to our arrival. Will, where do we go now? 
now, we find somewhere to hide, and hope to God Grayson doesn't find us. Why don't we use the gate controls to lock him in one of the sections of the prison? We don't know where he is. Besides, the gates have already malfunctioned once. We can't rely on them. Where do you suggest, then? The medical ward. It's an isolated room that can be locked. We can hide there until morning. Makes sense. Let's go. I wondered how long it had taken for the- Looks like what the fuck? The human skull was small, probably a child or teen. The words my crime were carved into it. Whoever did this was sick. like he was beaten to death. A message was written in Gerard's blood. I'm so sorry, Bree. A message was... 